Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new series called Wim World Blues. Now, this is, this is a, ga a game called Flash Fire and Steam quite a while ago. It's a colony survival game where the main objective is to get off a planet, basically. Now, I will not be playing the vanilla base game as there is a lot of content to it, but not as nearly exciting. So, this is a he very heavily, heavily modified version of the game. Now, throughout this journey, I will be trying to attempt several tasks before I decide whether to leave planet side or to succumb to some kind of ancient god of destruction. Now then, I've already spoken to the Sector Alpha community to help me in naming certain aspects of the game, because after all, as you can see by the title of the game, it is a story generator. That means that things will happen in this game and it'll to lead a big story about all our colonists. Now then, I'll be playing on a difficulty setting called, known as Naked Brutality, but with a slight twist. My colonist will start off as a vampire, and one of my main objectives Bottom this cornice is I have to get him to the highest ranking vampire possible. Why do you do that? Well, let's say I'll explain it later throughout the series. So, in any case, I have spoken to my community and we have named the first colonist who will be making a landfall in this rim world. So that is and his and you'll find out soon who this cornice is. Now then, I will be playing on Cassandra Classic Rough. I have experienced this game before, I have never completed it though, but I know my way around what's going on. And commitment mode, I will not be reloading after any mistakes has happened. After all, what's the, what's the fun of, of a story without a bit of tension? Now then, we'll go for quite a big map side, map size, and we will have a random seed. Now then, because it is hosted on Sector Alpha, let's go with Sector. And let's generate this planet and see what we get. I apologize for a long delay in generating the world. After all, it is heavily modified and it does slow the game down a little bit, but nothing too noticeable. Uh, a lot of a lot of bugs, but nothing too bad. So, quite a decent map size. Let's see where to begin. Now, the last time I spoke to to the community, they suggested I should try. A bit of a harsh set, harsh landing site. So let's go. Not temperate desert. Uh, there we go. Shrubland. Let's see if I can get one further away from people, just so we have our own space. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Let us try here. Nice ocean side. Actually, no. Let's not go near the ocean. Tend to mess things up in generation. Unfortunately, we may not be able to get the exact location promised, but we'll go somewhere. Just a difficult. We'll go to the grasslands. Now then, I actually may notice one of my mods I'm, I am using in this game, if you're familiar with the world, is prepare carefully. The reason why I need to prepare carefully because I have a specific character which I need to load. And here he is. Jeff. Now, if, now Jeff, as you can notice first things first, he is a vampire. 
I will not know what class of vampire you'll be. All I know is he is the weakest generation vampire possible. To make the game slightly easier for me, I have chosen a few traits. Now then, one trait you may notice if you play with him more often is physically adept. You can him stronger in physical combat, but unable to learn magic. This is part of a, of a mod in the mod you can find called Rimmer Magic. I highly recommend you recommend getting this mod if you want to have fun things happen. Now that I have being a vampire, I think he should be beautiful. As, char as a charming vampire, we'll be able to attract other colonists and, you know, to just to feed off in the future. And of course, being a vampire, he is of course a night elf. Now then. I have the name chosen is G. Jeff Jefferson. This is a name picked up by the community of Sector Alpha. And, well, I said I'd, put, I'd choose whatever name I want, and that's what we went with. Now then, young Jeff here is a young, a young space pirate who somehow caught vampirism. Perhaps he got bitten in the future? Who knows? If he got bitten whilst travelling, who knows? This is, a, this is a story which we'll find out eventually. Now then, we're ready with our customizations. Jeff is ready to make plan aside, and let's read the story. It was supposed to be a minor surgery for Jeff to remove a vampire curse from his blood. And just an hour, hour under anesthetic, he felt totally safe. Now, he's awoken in a drop pod, punching through the atmosphere of a distant room world. Aside from a slick, mysterious school of his body, he is totally naked, with no preparations, no supplies, no tools, and a thirst for blood. Will he survive the journey? Will he, will his, will he be able to build a colony which will last for ages and, make, and get off planet, planet? Or will he succumb to his primal desires? And take over the world. There's one way to find out, and that's to play the game. Now then, first things first, we'll be playing on the custom vampire settings, as we want a nice active generation of six. And being a win world, we don't want too many vampires running around now, do we? After all, you never know what we can get up to. So, and some dimming percentage will be a slightly dimmer than usual, just so we have a slight chance of, you know, surviving. And here we go. As you can see, old Jeff here has landed completely butt naked and confused. Now, being a vampire, uh, and the, uh, being a vampire, he does not want to be out in the sun. As you notice, it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. Vampires will not last very long out in the sunlight. So, first things first. Let's get him to safety and put a roof over his head, just so he can survive for the day. Oh, okay, never mind. He's not wanting to build a roof. He's preparing to dive into the ground. Now he's underground, he's completely protected from the sunlight. From there, we just wait until the sun sets. Now I'll take this opportunity to reassign his, his leaving hours. After all, we've got to make sure he's, he's still working on his planet and not trying to sleep away for days. While that runs, let's just take a look around look at our surroundings. That's a nice fertile soil up here. We could produce for growing. A nice bit of open space here for building around. Plenty of rocks to mine. Some interesting ruins and structures. Now right, let's have a look at the wildlife in the area. We have an Allosaurus. They are particularly deadly and what you can see right here. These things a part of a mod called Dinosaur, Dinotopia, which has a variety of different dinosaurs. 
I will be planning to tame one dinosaur pair, breeding pair, in my adventures. But until now, as we just landed, I don't think we should be taming that dinosaurs just yet. We also have buffaloes in, in in the vicinity, which we can use to feed, go feed off, or hunt for, for, for the food. What else can we find here? Oh, what's this? It's an interesting creature. Animus fox. Appears to be a small canine with, with psionic abilities. It's quite talented for an animal, but not intelligent enough to do to properly use its psionic ability. And but likes to bond with humans, human beings. Animal, Animus fox is also part of a mod called Alpha Animals, which added a variety of new animals to the game, which we'll find in a wildlife, and which I've never seen before. Hopefully, we'll see more later on. Now here we do have an ostrich, which are quite temperamental creatures, but apparently give a lot of good meat and quite good for ride, so let's hope we can tame that once again. Now when, as the sun has set, it appears a vampire is not walking for a slumber. Let's force him awake, shall we? Ah, he appears to be sleeping. Let's wake him up. Now then. Oh, he's still a very, very sleepy vampire. First things first. Oh, there he goes. We have our roof. To make sure he is not going to die. We'll give him a little sleepy spot in the shade, just so he can sleep during the sunlight. Daylight hours. Nothing. Think about Jeff. Being a vampire, he has no need for eating, as he is dead. He's a vampire. If anything he needs to feed on is his fresh blood of other and other 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 living beings. The amount of blood he needs is managed by Vitae. Vitae can be, Vitae can be, is extracted from any living creature. I can't. Uh, that means I can't actually extract Vitae from other vampires. And vampire is important because. It allows Jeff Hugh to use his latent vampiric abilities. Currently, he's on blood feed mode. He ought, he will always uh, currently he's he's, he's set to blood feeding of other humans. You may notice there are no other humans around Jeff. Let's change that, sir, shall we? Ah, perfect. He will now feed off animals in the vicinity. And from looks things, he'll be non-lethal. Which means we can then go start sucking animals dry of blood without accidentally killing them. Giving us a chance to have fresh blood on demand. Hopefully without Jeff accidentally going towards more dangerous creatures. Now as another time Jeff is trying to cut down a tree. Unfortunately he's got very bad skills of plants. Which is why it's taking such a long time to do so. Let's speed up the hour shall we? Even then, Jeff takes a long time to cut down a tree. He has cut down a tree for at least five hours before he managed to actually get in what he was after. Oh, Jeff is now going for a slow stamp, shall we? You may notice Jeff is now grappling creatures. Every so often I will speed the game up because it does take a long time to do something, but I'll slow down for important parts. Right now, Jeff is running around, grappling, grappling his, his animal victims, and draining their blood dry. Now, the amount of vitae you get from creatures does change depending on the creature you drink blood from and from what kind of vampire we are. I am currently a Trinsmetsy blood vampire. I have no idea what they are, but well, we'll find out his abilities later on in, in, later on in the game. Until then, a little bit of time. We're gonna focus on two things. One, getting out that house for Jeff to sleep in. And two, making sure Jeff survives. After all, it is a cruel world out there. Later on in the game, I will be needing to decide a name for the colony. If you do have a name you want you want to me to use for the colony and for the group of our survivors who will be living in this colony. Please drop a message in the chat room, and I will consider, and I will see 
if it is a valid name for name for colony, and it's not too inappropriate. Looks like Jeff has finished building his house, and by chopping down some trees, we got some woods. Now then, our best plan of action is to make sure we got somewhere safe for Jeff to store all his materials to do that. But on that stockpile zone, right next to his, well, a little shack, shall we, shall we call it? I say we've moved over, moved a mountain. Now then, we're going to move uh, a nice little bit of walling towards the shelter just so we can move it around at, during the daytime without too much worry. And of course, we'll build a roof over it just so we keep it safe. And I'll take this opportunity to make sure Jeff is assigned to construct things, which he is. And until then, I'll let Jeff continue cutting down trees until, well, until the sun comes up. There, my one my settings is, is that I'll be saving my, my game will be saving every every new t new day that comes over, just so we've got a constant save file going on and making sure if a bug does happen, we can revert it if needed, but I plan not to. Now I will, I will apologize right, right in advance, as it is a start of a naked brutality game, the game will be slow to start. However, once we get more colonists, more animals, more events for happening, we'll start to see our story unraveling until then. Best is to buckle down, grab a drink, ask a few questions, and you know, we'll see what goes up, what happens. Looks like Jeff has managed to finish constructing his roof for stockpile. Perhaps we can get it expanded a, a little bit further just so we can keep it, get more space under the shade. I know, because he's stargazing to try and keep his recreation happy. Well, many ways to manage recreational needs. It could either be him doing some talking to people, watching the stars, or playing various activities. We can, we can always make more recreation activities for him by looking at the recreation tabs. Now then, we do have a horseshoe stick, which is, which is a, a dexterity game, which allows colonists to train their shooting skills while having a little bit of fun with horseshoes. We have a chess table, which you can use for colonists to train their intellect, and also have a bit of fun with cerebral, cerebral uh, recreational needs. Poker is a, bit, is a bit more thinking and has it gives a, bit, gives a much better rate of recreation compared to chess. And, we have, and then last, lastly, we have the billiards table, which trains shooting skills, much like the horseshoe's pin, which would require a much, much higher degree. We also have a scenic bench for College of the Beauty, which is a mod added for my, Zen for my Zen Gardens. I have never used one of these before, so it'll be the first time for me as well. Alright. I'll let Jess spruce up, spruce up the little hidey hole. After all, we don't want an ugly private hole for Jeff now, do we? First things first, if you're going to attract more, more victims, I mean colonists, to join our local colony, then you should probably get some food, food growing for them. I have a little pot of land to do that. And we'll grow some rice plant, the easiest plant of all to grow. And hopefully, Jeff will take the hint and actually. Oh, nobody's going for a walk.
it's going for a walk. Oh, now it's good. He knows he's at his walk. He's going to go back to growing some food for us. Now, I did point out I need to make sure I have a multiple, multiple variety of recreational activities. So, I'll plop down the horseshoe shit pin, pin area. And I'll make a little chess table. Which I appear I don't have enough wood for. So, I better get some wood growing as well. We're chopping down. That's, that's a nice little button here. And the Allosaurus. Let's see what happens now. Now every time Jeff sows down a bit of, ground, bit of plant, he does get experience in plants, which makes it easier for him to cut down trees in the future and grow bigger and better plants and more complex plants, which may come in handy later. So far, the first day seems pretty uneventful for Jeff. Hmm? Another day, another sunrise. Another time for Jeff to hide away. Our first message. It appears to be some guests wanting to look, at, look around and call me. Unfortunately, as we do not have any guest beds, it would not be wise to take him in right now. So, until then, let's not take in any, any guests until we know we can look after them. It's another beautiful evening for Jeff. Goes had a completely sewing mission. Jeff seems to be almost finished sowing this field. From there, he may go back to chopping down trees and build his chest table. Just so he doesn't keep get bored out here in the room. And if you're just joining, joining the stream for the first time, my name is JoyDexMD. If you have any questions you'd like to ask about the game, please let me know in the, in the chat room. And I shall answer your questions as quickly as I can. has finally been sown for the to grow, to grow some rice plants for our colonists and now Jeff has gone back to chopping down trees. Or oh, so it would be, but it appears the sun is rising once again. And Jeff will need to run away. Yep, there we go. Gotta avoid that sunlight.
let's take this opportunity just to see what's in that surrounding areas. Rabbits, maybe. Judging to visit how dangerous things can be. Oh, the emu's not appearing on the wildlife list. Oh, here we go, emu's right here. Emus are, are very nasty creatures as they will attack straight, straight away being, if they get hit by a rifle shot or a bow and arrow. Let's speed things up just so we can get to the next sunset. Looks like a local herd has gone mad and started attacking Jeff. Hm. Looks like over here was no match for a vampire. The sun sets, Jeff can get back to work. That's doing things up well. Oh, looks like it's gonna. Oh, it's gone after a donkey again. He really doesn't like his donkey blood. Just Jeff. After he might make an ass of himself one day. That Jeff now finally has his chess board. No, he may not get to as, as bored out here on the room on his own. Now, then. first things first, whilst we do have a nice little shady area next to my other side, it's not much of a home, is it? So, our first objective is to give Jeff a proper home out here in the rim. To do that, we're going to need more wood. Doesn't appear to be that much wood out here in the grasslands. Perhaps we can do something else. Can we make? It? Does Jeff know how to walk with stones? Yes, he does. Jeff does know how to walk with stones. Perhaps it might be more better for Jeff to make a stone house rather than a wooden house. In which case, we'll get into some steel. Now for a quick scout around the mountains, let's see if we can spot some steel for good old Jeff here. Silver ore, oh here we go, right here, compact steel. Let's get Jeff to mine some of his steel out, shall we? Oh well, I don't need too much, let's make it that much there. Heaven. Make ourselves a stone cursed table. We need 75 wood and 30 steel. Trees we should give around 20 wood if they're fully grown and chopped down. So, two more trees, Jeff should be ready to get ready to make a stone cursed table with the steel he'll collect. Let's pick things up, shall we? Oops. Got all these trees here. Hello, what's this tree? This is not something we actually expected. Seems a bit ominous and ominous to them, don't you think? One of this has got Jeff's attention. Let's 
speed things up to see what you find out about it. Oh, what's this? Jeff seems to take a massive mood, mood hit. I have looked upon Jeff has looked upon all, all that the universe has to hold of horror. Even the skies are springing their flowers, the summer must be. Ever after it would be a poison to him. Jeff doesn't seem to be okay, guys. I think looking at a tree has kind of changed him in a way. To the point he's, he's frenetically now writing something down. And with that, Jeff has, fa has written something, an ominous book. He has no memory of what it is. It's still dampened on the sweater of his labours. The book is it feels strange in language that has not yet understood. The book contains diagrams, rituals, sacrifices, and spells. As some colonists are nerved by the court nature. Well, Jeff being a vampire should be used to it. Would, would be the use of court nature, but even this has surprised him. People think maybe we should, maybe, maybe we should, we should try and decipher these, these writings and diagrams to see what we can learn from it. Up of that, we've got the grimoire of the occult. The first step to making a cult. As the sun rises up, Jeff runs back to his home and falls back to sleep. Ready for the next day. I think you should give Jeff a little bit more breathing room, don't you? Let's expand the weaving out a little bit further. During, during the daytime for Jeff, I, a psychic suit seems to have gone across the land. Every corner of, of a male agenda smiles with content. Perhaps, perhaps this is the symbol for Jeff. Knowing that one day everything will work out okay for him. I love that. He has been given a nice mood boost. And it's just how good a mood he gets back straight back to work. I mean, he's still feeling a bit a bit nervous by writing down that strange book, but I'm sure Jeff will get over it in a few days' time. Now then, you may notice Jeff has now, now suffering from something else. Science loss. This is what happens when we start researching the occult. Colonists may go crazy, believing things to, things to be real when they may not even be real at all. We're scary nonetheless. To make yourself feel better, Jeff had decided to go feed on the little of a local wildlife. So they notice right now Jeff was feeling a little bit bored, and by having different ways to entertain himself. He can make himself feel a little bit happier out here on the, on the rim. And that, Jeff has done a bit of a little hovel. And now he's ready to go back mining. The bug, a bug with the log. Nothing to be too worried about. However, he does appear to have gained a knowledge, knowledge in vampirism. Here we go. The vampire skill sheet. Let's have a look, shall we? He's got. 
Now that we've played around with settings, let's just make sure that Jeff does not go out in the sun. At all. Don't want to learn that by now, do we? So he's got a multiple, multitude of skills that he can learn. Perfect forms. Well done, Flash Hack Putty. It allows Jeff to reach for himself. Perhaps I want to a pack, pack of animals to come to the colony. Maybe improve the sensors. Either way. Plenty of things to learn. Let's start learning, let's go through the animals that are section after all. More friends is helpful for to a good old Jeff, isn't it? And with that, Jeff is now finally part of the animal team. While Jeff has finished mining canvas rocks, we'll test out his newfound abilities. tree from the cut down. Oh! More wood can't have hurt someone now, can it? Now let's get him back to home and get stuff back to the store stuff plan. And we'll plan our next move. Seen forces a plethora of animals flooded the area. Oh wow. That is indeed a plethora of animals. Carnosaurs, megasaurs, muffalos, rats, wolves, ostriches. Plenty of animals what you have to feed on. In fact, we may not run out of a supply of blood anytime soon. Now, I'd be a bit rude for Jeff to be working on a stone curve bench, standing up. Let's get a nice little stool to sit on whilst he works. And starts to rise, and Jeff needs to hide under his shelter again. However, since we are next to the mountain, perhaps we can use this opportunity to dig out a nice little house for him. As Jeff sleeps, I struck a space castle at nearby. Quite to the north, with Wall Street being daytime, he can't leave the vicinity of his shelter. Looks like someone's trying to come, trying to attack poor Jeff while he sleeps. Armed with just a club, Gatry the Tender for a Blue Sign Coalition prepares a strike. Looking at the
Get a sec up, Jeff. And let's go, so go, for, go for that battle. And with that, we have knocked out this raider. Not true, that Jeff may have taken a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, we can't seem to capture him, but we can sift his blood. And let Jeff feed on his fresh kill. Let's take this opportunity and take back that club for ourselves and heal ourselves up. Looks like Jeff seems to have a thing about feeding on donkeys. All sorts of animals, it seems. And with that, Jeff can now continue mining out his new home. Uh, I think that's how we will leave our story for now. Once again, I'll be streaming this most days and. I will be playing this game off stream to try and speed things up so, so you get, don't have to listen to me talk about things not happening. And now I can provide updates to the story. So once again, I enjoyed XMD and this is Rimworld Blues.